The snap, the kick is up, and it is good! It is good! Man! Okay, well, that's the game. Dad, can my allowance? <laughs> sure. Here. Thanks. Here. Pleasure doing business with you. Wait, you're taking my son's allowance on a football bet? Hey, when he wins, I pay off, you know, minus the VIG. But minus the VIG, you're charging him for the privilege of making a bet. That's what the VIG is, Dad, duh. Let's face it, he's not gonna learn this stuff in school. I don't care, give him his allowance back. Fine. You get no allowance. That's your punishment for gambling. Told you you'd do that. Yeah, you did. Pleasure well, doing business with you. This is you. Morning. Saying he's fine. Um, Jake, do you want to talk about what you saw last night with uh, Uncle Charlie and Mrs. Pasternak? Oh, God, that really happened? <laughs> Good, Alan. Way to go. Dad, can I be homeschooled? Listen, Jake, don't worry. You go to school, don't say anything to anybody. I'll tell her I can't see her anymore, and we'll all forget this ever happened. Nah, it's like Cub Scouts all over again. <laughs> Uncle Charlie, guess what happened with his pastor Nat today? Don't worry, buddy. I'm just about to break up with her. Oh, no, don't, don't. Why not? Look at this. Hey, you got an A in history. Way to go, Jake. Look at his answers. Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation in pen. <laughs> For this, he got an A? Everybody got an A. She was, like, happy all day. She even gave me back my fake dog poop. Charlie, I gave you this poop. You broke into my house and left it on my pillow. Still, you re-gifted. And I thought you were a classy guy. That'll be more fun if you see it. I'm guessing you don't mean fun for me. Tell the truth. How proud do you feel at this moment? <laughs> what the hell is he doing? I don't know, but 10 bucks says he hits the ceiling if we turn on the garbage disposal. <laughs> Jake, what are you doing? Breathing. Breathing. Any particular reason you're doing that in the sink? I got the practice. Man, the girls are gonna love him when he grows up. Uh, Jake? Yes? I'll bring him up. Yeah. Hey, that's not funny. I could have drowned. Yeah, and then we'd have found your body days later, washed up on the dish rack. <laughs> Don't get snippy with me. I'm trying to teach you something here. Hey, I agreed to one. Jake, if you're finished with your dinner, why don't you get started on that homework? I'm still hungry. He ate all my fries. You can have some ice cream when you're done with your homework. Isn't that procrastinating? Go. Hey, Charlie, you wanna come to the movies with us? He can't. He's working. On what? Liver failure? <laughs> Wonderful. He's my mother, you're my doctor. Oh, I assume uh, you finished reading Lord of the Flies for your book report? Uh-huh. Oh, good. Uh, how'd you like it? I thought it was a timeless American classic. <laughs> I see. So tell me, what's it about? You mean the book? <laughs> yeah, the book. Um, it's called Lord of the Flies. And it's about a really big fly that all the other flies pray to. You thought he didn't read it. Oh, I was just joking. It's more like Charlotte's Web, but from the fly's point of view. Oh, Jake, you've had more than a week. Well, why didn't you read the book? Um, I've been waiting for inspiration. a boy. Okay, how's this for inspiration? We're not going to the movies, and you're not doing anything else until you finish reading that book. That's not fair. Of course it's fair. We had a deal, and you didn't keep your end of it. Oh, so not two wrongs make a right? <laughs> Bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Look, Jake, you're really gonna like this book if you give it a chance. It's about kids stranded on a deserted island. 
How'd they get stranded? Uh, their plane crashes. Oh, really? Then what happens? Well, this one kid named Ralph becomes their leader, and they form the society, and... Just read the book. 